What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. The TV behind me is the TCL 6 series and it's an amazing TV and it's freaking awesome guys. I've had in this living room right here, I've had two 6 Series TVs. I had like the 2019 or 2020 model, and then uh, TCL just sent over this 2022 model, and it's seriously awesome. There's a lot of things that are improved over it, and I just wanna dive into those. So without further ado, let's talk about this television. Now let's run through some of the features about this TV. It is a 4K mini LED QLED TV. Now you can get it in 55, 65, and 75 inches. So basically it ranges into below $700 for the 55, below $1,000 for the 65, and below $1,500 for the 75 inch. You can get up to 144 hertz refresh rate on that. So if you're a gamer, you're gonna go wild on this. Now, I will admit that the current gaming consoles from Xbox Series X and from PlayStation 5 can only do 120 hertz. This can go 144 hertz, so it can grow with your gaming experience. Or if you wanted to, you could hook up a gaming PC to this and get the full 144 hertz. It also has the features of AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, has Roku built into it, which I'm a huge fan of. First, let's check out the remote. The remote is really easy to use. I love it because it's if you use the Roku platform, that's basically what this is. You have your power button, you have your back button, your home button, your directional pad with OK, you have your little reverse button, uh, like 10, 20 seconds. You have your voice button so you can voice search with this, you have your menu button, you have your rewind, play, pause buttons, you have your quick app buttons if you wanna to go to Netflix or Disney Plus or Roku, or actually HBO Max or Apple TV, you can. And then on the side here, you have your volume buttons and your mute button. So being able to use this remote is super easy. Also, you don't have to point the, the this right at your television. All you have to do, you can point it anywhere you want. Like I'll, I'll do it right now, I'll press the, uh, I'll go move it around. See, I'm pointing it at you, and it's still moving. You can hit my home button. So it works awesome. It's a great, great remote. So if you want to use it to you know, directionally move around or with your voice to search, it does all of that. So let's just go through the UI first. You can see it has Roku built into here. So you have your home screens with all of your HDMI ports and eARC and all that stuff here. You also have all the apps that you have had downloaded on here. On the left-hand side menu, you can go into live television really quickly. You can go into their free stuff that they have on Roku from movies and TV shows and things like that. You also have your uh, what to watch. This will be in here if you just curious, oh, what's some stuff I can watch or that I have been watching and any of that kind of stuff that shows up all on here. So it makes it a little bit easy to find new things or find things that you were watching. Then you have sports. So if you're a big sports fan, it has a little sports category to tell you what's coming up on sports on different apps and what's on right at that moment. You have the buzz. This is, uh, I guess, I'm not too sure what this is. I'm guessing this is stuff that's kind of like popular or things that they think is cool. Search, this is, you can search literally anything on here. So I, I did a search on Tom Hanks. So if I do that again, just to show you, it shows me Tom Hanks, but, I, and it'll show me li literally like every TV show and movie that he's on really easily. That's just one way you can search. You can also search for specific movies or TV shows or pretty much anything that you're looking to watch on here. Streaming channels, this is gonna be where you can, oh, you can also search for apps as well in here and under search. Streaming channels is gonna be all the apps that have streaming content that you can download. Some are free, some cost, but ultimately you can come in here and get all your apps. Then we have the My Offers. This is gonna be for things that like it, you could potentially buy. So if you wanna buy Roku Express 4K, plus you can get one for 25 bucks. You can buy it right through here. Settings, I, I've done a whole video on like tips and tricks on this. I'll link it down below. I'm not gonna really go that much through this because I've already done it in, in that video, but you can play around and download themes for the television. You can see this background I have, so you can change all that kind of stuff and sounds and screensavers do all that stuff in there. Here's your audio settings. You can see uh, on my audio output, you can set it to auto or eARC, such as because I have a uh, Samsung, uh, Sonos Arc right there, that little black thing there. I, you can change it back to uh, TV speakers if you don't want to hear that, or optical. I'll change it to TV speakers for now because I want you to hear the sound. Um, but otherwise, th this is a fantastic menu system. It's so easy, guys. I, this is definitely 
the TCL Roku TV is my favorite setup of settings on a television. I cannot recommend it enough. It's so simple and easy to use and friendly and smooth. That's I want to recommend I want to tell you how smooth this television is. Sometimes you get a television and you know the smart TV part of it is really slow. This is really fast. It um, just navigates everything really, really quickly. You can see I'm opening up YouTube in real time. It opened up nice and quickly. I'm hitting the home button again. It goes back here. It's really, really smooth. There's literally no lag on here. It's one of the reasons I love uh, the Roku system. And then just the six series alone with the power they put behind the processor that runs all this stuff. It's fantastic. Next, I want to talk about the design of the television. You see the bezel around there is super small. It's a really, really small bezel, which is awesome. So it doesn't take up a lot of the screen. It's not the absolute smallest bezel I've seen, but again, it's not that bad. So very, very happy with that. Now don't mind the strip lights on there. They're kind of falling off, I have to put them back. But ultimately, the TV does have the power input on the right hand side of the television. The other great thing about this television is that it has the stand right in the middle. So if you have a short table and you want to put a big TV like this one, you'll be able to because the stand is smack dab in the middle. That's the front right there that you're looking at. And then there's the back of it. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's fairly easy to put that stand on. And I love that it's smack dab in the middle. Here's all the ports on the side of the TV. So you get ethernet, you get uh, four HDMI ports. The first two are 4K 144 Hertz, three and four are 4K 60. And the fourth one also acts as an eARC port. So if you have like a sound bar or some kind of sound system that you wanna hook up through the eARC port, it's right there. You have your coaxial, you have USB if you wanna add a little USB stick with some videos or pictures or something like that. Audio out, a couple audio out uh, outputs as well. Here's the side of the TV, not too thick as you can see. It's actually, you know, it's not the thinnest for sure, but it's also not super duper thick either. Here's like a complete side view angle of the television. You can see it doesn't lose any quality at all. And then here's an almost front on view of the television. Now you probably won't be able to tell because I'm recording this at 30 frames per second, but this game, Fortnite, playing on the PlayStation 5 is running at 120 hertz on here. Now again, this TV can run up to 144 hertz, so if gaming consoles get better or you're using a gaming PC, then you can get up to that 144 hertz, but even at 120 hertz, this looks so smooth and great, it's crazy. It's really a difference over the 60 hertz that the gaming consoles can do currently and super fluid and adds the ability to really actually be a bit of a more competitive gamer because if you ever watch the competitive gamers, they're playing at higher refresh rates and this television can handle some of those refresh rates, again, up to 144 hertz. Also, the colors on this screen are really, really nice. I'm really happy with them. They really bring out whatever the, the game's trying to bring out, you know, have it be like a nice rich red or these deep greens on here. It's definitely one of those TVs that, you know, you can be impressed with because of that high refresh rate and the quality of the display overall. And as you can see, the quality is really nice too. It doesn't matter what you're looking at, it be those rich reds or these like darker colors or bright colors. Everything looks awesome in terms of the quality that you're seeing on this television. Very, very happy with it. And as you can see where I'm going with this, I'm a huge fan of this television. Uh, the only takeaway I would be like, you could definitely use the speakers on this if you don't want some big, massive cinematic type sound on there. It sounds absolutely fine. But I personally, when I get a TV, it doesn't matter who makes the television, I want a sound bar. I love the Sono sound bar, um, but uh, TCL Roku, they make their own sound bars. You could go with those. I haven't tried them out, but you could go in that direction. But I love the Sonos ones. I love the integration with it all and using the eARC port uh, on the side of the television hook, all that stuff up. It sounds great. That would probably be the only thing I don't absolutely love about the TV is the sound. But again, it's perfectly fine. I'm just used to a big, massive sound at this point. But otherwise, the TV looks great. I love the 124 hertz refresh rate for gaming. And because I'm a big gamer, I'm always playing PlayStation 5 and Xbox. 
Xbox Series X on there. It's nice and bright. It's really easy to use with the Roku platform on there. I can watch my streaming apps. I can go into the settings of the television and find all that stuff really simply. I love it, guys. Really don't have any, any bad things to say about this television. Very happy with it. And the price, I feel like, is very, very good. Like the value to uh, the, the features that you're getting are huge in there. There's a huge value proposition in there with what you're getting. Check it out, guys. Link down below. I would definitely recommend getting it. I think you'd be very happy with it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.